I don't wanna collab, no, unless I hit you up. My room smells a little funny from cooking breakfast in the kitchen. So I am gonna buy an instant plus vibes. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to have a new wellness intro. I don't remember it and I don't remember which of my many devices I have that saved on so we'll do that at the end hey guys what's up and welcome back if you happen to be new my name's Denasia Adira is actually the name that I gave my hair and on this channel everything is everything beauty is in the simple things and we prioritize holistic wellness as the greatest form of self-care <laughs> hi happy new year um, welcome back I have not been on a break. I've been on a getting my life together and we're still getting there, but I'm really excited to officially start um, my content around wellness and lifestyle. And if you have been here with me for years and years and years on hair content, you might get some of that, but most of that is over on TikTok now. So I'm going to shamelessly plug my TikTok, which is growing rapidly. Um, so check me out over there if you're more interested in the hair and lifestyle. But YouTube is going to now kind of be like my sacred space for sharing me with you and learning and growing and all of the things. So the reason I'm excited about this video is because this was one of my like morning walk meditative downloads that... Okay. Um, that came to me and I was like, ooh, I got to talk about it. But I wanted to talk about it in a way that made sense and wasn't overwhelming. And there was so much that I was wanting to put in it that it overwhelmed me and I procrastinated. And three, four months later, I'm just now doing the video. But so every single year, I pick a word that I want to be like the theme or the mood or the vibe of the year. And I remember 2022 being shift because I was moving across the country. I was starting this whole life. And the way that my life shifted was not in the way I was expecting it to, but even more. <laughs> um, so yeah, 2022, my word was shift. 2023, it was something along the lines of like reset, refocus. And for 2024, my word is realign. I essentially am just realigning myself with me, first of all, and with the things and the people and the foods and the activities and the music that just really resonate to me and just make me feel good. Like I'm just learning that things need to feel good for me in order for me to be happy. So my question is, and I'm gonna read this verbatim so that I actually get through it <laughs> properly. Um, but I wanted to know why is it that humans are the only living organisms on this earth that can't just go with the flow? And when I say flow, I very literally mean flow. Like on earth, there are systems and flows of energy that govern how every other living organism navigates their lives, their well-being, and yet here we are, humans, the only ones that think we have to do it a certain way or are being told to do it a certain way outside of what comes natural to us. Why are humans the only ones not navigating our lives according to flow? Short answer, capitalism, money, but that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> I just really wanted to deep dive into how we as humans or as people um, are conditioned or taught to do the opposite of what we were actually put on earth to do. Like if you think about it, have you ever seen your cat or your dog, like your pet, lay in the window or, in, or on the patio exactly where the sun is shining? No one told them to do that. That feels good to them. Why is that? When you put a plant in the window, the leaves or the flowers start to turn towards the sun because they're soaking up that energy. And that is intuitive to animals and to plants. And yet humans, oh no, stay out of the sun. It's not good for my skin. 
make that make sense because it doesn't make sense to me. My favorite is the fact that trees who do not verbally speak to one another, there is no mama tree, baby tree to teach them anything. Trees will grow and sprout in the spring when they're supposed to. They will shed and release their leaves in the winter when they're supposed to. They know how to pull certain nutrients from the ground and how to like do all the things that they're supposed to do because they are a living organism on earth that is simply being and doing what they're supposed to do. The fact that these are instinctual behaviors, they don't have to be learned. They don't have to be practiced. They just are because that's how they're supposed to be. And this this concept was just whirling in my head. And I'm like, how can I live my life like that? Like what is instinctual and intuitive and authentic to me? And how can I just be in that and not be concerned about any other conditioning and not be concerned about, well, my mom and my daddy and my grandma told me to do it this way, but it doesn't feel good. I don't want to do it this way because that's that's not how I want to do it. <laughs> now that I've kind of like laid out where my thought process was going into 2024, um, I really had to reflect on 2023. And for you guys that may not be familiar with my content, 2023 was a very transitional year for me because the year before 2022, my world just changed in a lot of ways where I was living, my relationship, work, my creative things that I cared about, my spirituality, my connection to friends, like everything changed. <laughs> 2022 and 2023 was my year of just settling in with all the things that have completely gone away and what do I want to bring in and what's left and who am I and how do I want to function in this new me and I really had the opportunity to just be myself in my own energy in my own environment last year and it was very eye-opening for me because there were a lot of pieces of me that I either didn't know existed or realized that I'd been hiding. But then I got around certain people that just brought out more of me or just made me feel comfortable. I'm getting chills. Ooh. <laughs> just made me feel so comfortable and well-received and accepted being me. And for a really long time, I have not been comfortable enough to do that for either my own reasons or external reasons to me so say all this to say um during that process there were three things that spirit was really really working with me on during that time of readjusting to my authenticity surrendering and not trying to control every little thing and then what alignment looks like for me what i feel in my heart of hearts um, is my true purpose. Y'all just gonna have to accept the fact that I'm looking over here because <laughs> my brain is all over the place. So we're just gonna look over here and I'm not sorry about it. Um, what I learned in the area of authenticity is the fact that your authentic self is usually buried under years of other people's advice and or beliefs and it's sealed with like the symbolic concrete layer of your life experience <laughs> that's the way my brain works that's the way I visualize it and I basically had to like break up the cement of my life experiences where I've built up this hard cover-up or mask or whatever I have this hard layer of like shit <laughs> that I had to break up and then underneath that was all the things that people taught me and all the things that I believe based off of how I grew up and so I'm basically like pulling out weeds of like that's some trash that's not helpful that's draining me and kind of seeing what was left I'm like okay this is the new foundation of me this is who I am we're gonna build based off of that oh that was an analogy if you're a visual like me that's why my analogies are so wild because I'm a very like visual person mentally and physically <laughs> um the second thing that spirit was really working me on was being in the energy of surrendering which what's the thing on TikTok right now eldest daughter I'm the eldest daughter I I I'm a Scorpio <laughs> I'm a black woman like surrendering is 
hard, okay? It really is, especially when you have always had to like make sure you're good um, and feeling like I always had to have a plan. So what I feel I learned last year in terms of surrender is that it's really important to release control and surrender to whatever innate reason I'm here. I might not even know what that is, but being able to actually trust (laughs) myself, trust spirit, and just go for it and know that I'm making the right decisions because really there's no wrong way to do life and there's no wrong decisions to be made. You're always going to learn or succeed or both or neither, but you're always moving forward and it's all a part of your journey. And I really had to learn that there's no right way to do it. And what's funny is when I think back to what I thought was the right way, which was school, get a man, have a family and do all those things, baby. Uh-uh. that ain't life they can be part they can be a part of life that could be an amazing part of life but it could also be a terrible part of life and that's not life that's not your purpose to be here on this earth is to go to school work get a job find a man raise a family repeat that no those are just events that can happen in your life And because of me having to learn that there's no right way to do it, it's kind of like, well, how do I think through things? How do I organize my thoughts or my plans or my life or my spiritual? Like, how do I do this? I lean into astrology a lot. Um, I'm going to talk about that in depth in another video. And I'm not just talking about social media astrology. I'm talking about the science of astrology. Read books, study your chart, understand what it means and all of those things. I'm not going to go on that tangent right now. But I lean to astrology and my own intuition to determine what my personal natural order is. Um, Other people might lean into things like religion for their natural order. To each his own okay we're gonna have to talk about this in another video because I got I got a lot of thoughts <laughs> but just know it's something that I'm still working on but yeah I know this was a lot you guys um I am really really excited for this year and not because everything in my life looks good not because I've figured everything out I'm excited for this year because I I am open to all of the possibilities that this year has to come and I've opened myself up to them in a way that I'm not stressed or anxious about it because I'm not trying to like control. I'm not like, ooh, this needs to happen and this needs to happen and this needs to happen for me to be happy. I'm like, this is who I am. I'm comfortable in who I am. Here are some things that I'm interested in. Here's how I want to feel. Okay, whatever's going to make me feel the way that I want to feel, come on. And bring it to me. <laughs> and if I have things to learn before I'm even ready for that, I'm open to learning them. And I'm very self-aware so that when things feel, I don't believe in like good or bad, but when things don't feel the way that I want it to, I am no longer frantic. Like I am no longer questioning my whole being or my whole purpose or um, my thought process or my decision making skill. I'm no longer questioning myself when things aren't going the way that I want them to go because now I truly believe that everything is working for me and that everything that happens is like a piece of the puzzle. I might have known, I might not have known I needed that puzzle piece. I might not have known that that one goes over here instead of over there. But as I'm digging through the puzzle box, I'm learning and I'm figuring it out and I'm just learning to enjoy the process instead of stressing the end result. That was good. The puzzle analogy was a good one. That came out of nowhere. But yeah, I think that's all I have for y'all today. Thank you if you sat through this whole video. Let me know as you're moving into this calendar new year, um, what things are you aiming, striving for? Um, Where's your mind? How did you reflect on last year? Just, Just leave me all the things. Don't forget to check in with yourself before you... Nope, that's not what I say. That's not what I do. Try again. Beep, beep, beep. Take three. As always, don't forget to subscribe to yourself before you subscribe to me or anybody else. But if you're good and you're good, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see y'all next time.